Am I the asshole for feeding our baby spices? Since our baby hit six months, we have been trying to introduce him to food. He pretty much turned his nose up at the vast majority. Our pediatrician said that babies like to eat what their parents eat, so I started sharing food with him. The thing is, the plain mashed sweet potatoes and carrots are gross. So I put cinnamon in the sweet potato and some garlic powder and pepper in the carrots, just a little to make it palatable. I looked up if these are safe for babies, and they are, although honey definitely isn't, and that was one of my original ideas, so I'm glad I looked it up. For the past week he has been eating with me, and it has been awesome, and he sleeps better too. However, my wife was furious when she saw me put cinnamon in the sweet potatoes. She said it wasn't safe for the baby and I should never have done that without consulting her. I explained that I did research, but she said that didn't matter, because mother's instincts are more important. I asked what about my instincts, and she said I didn't have any. She said moms instinctually know what is good for their babies. This whole thing has me bummed out, because I was enjoying sharing dinner with my little guy. Was I an asshole for not asking permission to season my baby's dinner? She said moms instinctually know what is good for their babies. False. Every parent is flying by the seat of their pants, to be honest. INFO. Did you try those same foods without the spices first? This wasn't clear in your post. Edit. After OP's reply, judgment given, absolutely not the asshole. Edit it again to remove an unnecessary sentence. Not the asshole, and if she's going to claim mother's instincts every time you guys disagree it's going to be a long 18 years. You did nothing dangerous, and she needs to chill out. Signed, a mom. As a racially mixed person who's been surrounded by spices I can't even pronounce half the time. Not the asshole. Also that dig about you not having instincts cause you're a man is just insulting to your position as a father. Moms do not automatically know what's good or better, and the ability to pick up subtle clues when a child is in danger takes time. Am I the asshole for asking all the guests to leave after my brother and SIL's pregnancy announcement? My, 28M, and my wife, Anna, 28F, were expecting. She was almost three months, we were really excited. We bought everything a baby needed, and talked a lot about our future with the baby. August 23, 2022. My wife woke me up in tears. She tossed her blanket off from her legs to show me a big patch of blood near her crotch, staining the sheets. We had a really hard time accepting the fact, but Anna was much more affected. She would cry in our bed for at least four hours every day. She wouldn't eat, and she would say awful things about herself and her useless body. I had tried to console her to the best of my abilities but I was grief-stricken myself and couldn't say the right words to her. It took four months of therapy for us to gradually start feeling better. Anna was smiling more. She was still a little on edge, but she was doing good. January 14th was Anna's birthday and I wanted to make it really special for her. I invited our friends and family and cooked her favorite foods. I just wanted this day to be happy for her. For context, our families know about the situation and the effect it had on Anna, especially my brother and Syl, as we had stayed in their house for a bit. While everyone was eating the food my brother and Syl got up and told everyone that Syl was pregnant. After four seconds of silence, everyone in the room started congratulating them. I was stunned and turned to my wife having an emotionless expression until she smiled slowly and congratulated them, and hugged them both. For a good 20 minutes, everyone couldn't stop talking about pregnancy, baby names, and new baby toys. They could have easily announced this at their five-year anniversary party which was just two weeks away. What was the point of announcing it on my wife's birthday? I noticed my wife get up and leave to go to our bedroom. I found her crying. She told me she doesn't want to go out now, that she doesn't want to face them. I understood and quickly headed to the table, where everyone was done eating, talking as if they hadn't noticed we'd left. I didn't want to make a big scene so I told everyone kindly, that me and Anna had some plans for the evening and that we would have to cut this party short. That was the only thing that came to mind at that moment. Syl comes walking towards me and starts yelling at me saying that I'm doing this because of her announcement. I tried telling her as calmly as possible that it wasn't like that and this was supposed to be Anna's birthday party, not some pregnancy announcement party. I said my goodbyes, then two hours later, I get a message from my brother saying I was selfish and that I shouldn't be jealous just because we won't be as careless as the two of you, careless as in implying that we had somehow caused the miscarriage even though we were incredibly careful. I'm beyond frustrated. Do you think I ATA because of how I handled the situation? Edit. More details and an update posted in the comments.
Just go to my account to see it. Not the asshole. Announcing your pregnancy at someone else's party is incredibly selfish. Doing so at the party of someone who has recently miscarried is beyond evil. And as for your brother's carelessness comment, I think that's a clear case of fighting words. You're beyond frustrated. That's it. I'd be enraged. Hell, I am enraged on your behalf and I don't know you. I'm not sure why you're tiptoeing with these assholes. Not the asshole and I'd be laying into them. On what planet was that appropriate? Even if you guys hadn't lost a pregnancy, it's rude to make someone else's party about you. Just like you don't announce an engagement at someone's wedding. And his later remark about being careful? What the actual fuck? If one of my brothers pulled a stunt like that, they'd get an earful from me whether it was my party or not. Am I the asshole for refusing to cook for my brother unless I get paid? My, 15 female, parents are going out of the country for a week to attend their best friend's wedding. Because of this my brother, 16 male, and I will be staying home alone. My mom is usually the one who cooks all our meals, so since she will be away, she's asked me to take over. For some background my mom forced me to learn to cook when I was 11. When I asked why my brother didn't have to learn too, she said she offered to teach him but he refused. I also refused, but she made me anyways, and though I was pissed at the time, I am grateful I have this skill. When she asked me I told her my brother and I should split the cooking in half for the week. My brother protested, saying he didn't know how to make anything, and my mother agreed with him. I told him it was his fault for not learning how, and I would only do all the cooking if I could get paid for it. My mom said she wouldn't be doing that since we're family and family does stuff for each other, and I said if that's the case then I'll only be making meals for myself. My dad then got involved and told me I'm causing unnecessary issues. Look, I get it if my brother was five, but he's literally older than me. Shouldn't he be taking care of me? My family doesn't seem to agree with me so I'm wondering am I the asshole? 1. Your mom probably wouldn't admit it but it seems glaringly obvious that she insisted you learn to cook because you're female and didn't force your brother because he's male. Feel free to correct me if you're positive I'm wrong. Thing patriarchy. 2. I'm not opposed to kids, especially at your age, having chores including cooking but they should be equitable between siblings. Does your brother have special responsibilities that week? If not, sounds like it's time for him to learn to cook, too. 3. I guess this is all legally okay, but personally I wouldn't leave a 15 yo and 16 yo at home alone for an entire week to parent each other. Sounds like a terrible idea overall. Not the asshole your parents are though. Not the asshole. 16 is old enough to be able to feed himself. He can make sandwiches, toast, eggs, cereal, etc. Your mother failed him by accepting his refusal to learn a valuable skill. Am I the asshole for screaming at my pregnant sill that she is a BTCH and brat? Obligatory to mention that I am not native on English. My sill, 32, is four and a half months pregnant. Since she discovered she is, she has been making various requests which I am not happy about. To give some context, she demands that if we go to family dinners in a restaurant we have to avoid certain places such as kebabs or sushi. But it doesn't go until that point, it is basically anything. We can't go to CFES because she says the smell of coffee and pastries make her sick to her stomach, and that besides that she can't drink coffee which she used to love. She is also in my friend's group, I introduced her, and has the same attitude around clothes. We can't go shopping anymore because she will start crying that she can't wear the clothes or that the heels won't fit her. We have told her that there must be clothes with a bigger size to complement her body now but she says that is a waste of energy and money. So, in three weeks it will be my 30th birthday so I want to make it special. Since I was a child my best friends and I favorite food has been sushi. We used to go out to this sushi place once a week. So I found this restaurant who will deliver me these freshly made sushi rolls. I have told Syl today about this so I can warn her about the potential nauseating smell that she says she hates. The moment I told her she got very mad. She told me how selfish I was for choosing the main food that she cannot eat at the moment. I tried to explain to her that I had always planned this and that I will also gather food specifically for her. But she did not hear me. She screamed that I was doing this on purpose just to humiliate her like, all the other times, it was there when I got very mad, and screamed back in front of her whole family, we were previously alone, but after hearing her screams people started to come, that she was being a bitch since she found out she got pregnant, 
and that that was only an excuse to tap how much a brat she was and that she was prohibited from being near my house the day of my birthday. After that I was having none of it and went away leaving her crying, only husband came. All of this was yesterday, and since then I have not stopped getting messages from Hubs Phila telling me to apologize because while she may had been behaving very demanding she was pregnant and I shouldn't put through emotions like that and that I was very cruel, especially for the sushi on my birthday thing. My husband agrees with me, but I am not sure, maybe I have not been empathetic. But I have thought about me being pregnant and I wouldn't behave like that. Am I the asshole? Edit. I have noticed that I've left some additional info that maybe was important. 1. Sill entered into my friends group only a couple of months ago after I moved back. I was who introduced her since I noticed that she was quite alone, but before this she and I never had a big relationship since hubs and I moved away early in our relationship, and didn't visit hubby's family that much. 2. We never made her feel bad about her pregnancy and her body. We, my friends and I, always recommended her that we should go to buy new clothes for her and in the meantime also go around. But Sil told us that she was very uncomfortable with that and wanted us to stop it altogether until she gives birth. My friends and I tend to not be confrontational around people on our circle so we just said yes. We went out on our own a week ago. Also because we don't have to go out with everyone all the time right? But a friend of Sil saw us at the mall and told her. Sil got quite upset, told us she felt betrayed by us, so my friends and I getaways have been put on a hold. 3. As I said before. I was planning on eating sushi on my birthday way before Sil got pregnant. Also, originally it was going to be only my husband, my family and my best friend since we lived away. 4. Sil didn't know I wanted to buy sushi since before her pregnancy I can see why she got upset. 5. Since we moved back, my husband and his family has wanted to catch up the time lost so we would go to eat to many places these past months. I don't mind not going to eat more fish for example. We now eat more at home but the cafeteria thing is quite excessive in my opinion. Also the fact that she has prohibited certain foods from family gatherings because she either feels bad she can't eat them or that they make her feel sick. Not the asshole. Pregnancy isn't an excuse for shitty behavior. Is it understandable why she can't have sushi? Yes. Does it mean she can dictate how you celebrate your birthday especially when you had plans to accommodate her? Absolutely not. Not the asshole. I understand some accommodations from time to time but it's ridiculous for her to expect you to center your own birthday plans around her preferences. You're not even married to her. If she doesn't like being around people while she's pregnant, then she should simply stay away instead of forcing everyone to walk on eggshells around her. The smell of sushi nauseates me right now, so I can't make it to your party this year. Enjoy your birthday. That's all she had to say.